Welcome to Ukulele. It was a game I hated the first time and wanted to love so much. This is how much I played originally, 2 hours and 32 minutes. I gave it a good shot, I think. I pretty much completed the entire first world. Um, interesting thing, so I was looking up trying to stream it right now, and um, apparently has some trouble... Uh, it has some trouble streaming, showing up on OBS and stuff. So, what you have to do is pretty much, uh, what's it called? Do a display capture instead of game capture, which is interesting. Uh, let's watch this. Uh, this little cutscene. Everything has been prepared to your specification, capital B. The workforce is now yours. Hmm. Do you think this? This is not. That's not his voice. I'll just read it. Do you think this new statue is golden enough? I didn't read the rest. Oh, it's um. Focus test it. These employees need someone to look up to. Hold on. What is that? That's the Vice President statue, sir. I didn't sign off on that. Plus, it's casting an awkward shadow on the President's plinth. Bin it. Of course. You're the boss now. Now? Are we ready to synergize your latest profit plumping technology, Dr. Quack? Yes, sir. I've prepared the Novelizer 64, my most ingenious invention. We can use it to steal all the dusty old books in the world and leave us as the only player in the market. An equally ruthless and dynamic strategy, Doctor. I like it. Prepare the device immediately. I want to be on the world's force... World Force Golf Course by something. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. This game looks good, I'll, I'll give it that. And Quack, make sure you secure the special book. This game looks good. Visually, it is very polished. They gave it some good polish. Though, honestly, I don't think that can be said about every part. Ah, this is the life. I think this old shipwreck finally feels like home. Lately. Yeah, that'll be my vibrant pink job, Yuka. Oh, I read that weird. It's, all, it's about time we renovated this place. Most of the rooms haven't been touched since we moved in. Who knows what's hiding under the floorboards? Insects, mainly. Delicious. They were... Oh, so, some old book I've been using as drink as a drink coaster. Whoa, pirate treasure. I bet that's worth loads. It looks antique. For some reason, I'm having a hard time reading lately. Really? Do you reckon we should flog, flog it? I'll split you 80-20 in my favor. Hey, my profit book. It's being sucked away! The pages, they're escaping! And they're golden! I think that book is a bit more special than you thought, Laylee. 
Quick, after it! It's worth even more now, it's a flying book. I forget the things I, I can do already. Oh, I can't do anything. I forgot. Can I? I can do a double jump. So I am, I decided to use the assisted camera to begin with. That's the classic, the mode they want you to start with. So I, I'm gonna start with that. I had a quite a bit of trouble with the, the camera as it was, so I put it on manual in my other playthrough. I want to try it like this, though. Maybe they fixed something. Alright, pals. Lovely to see you. Hi there. I'm Yukin. This is my buddy, Laylee. Do we know you? Of course. It's me, Trouser. The honest and dexterous salesman. Yeah, I remember you, the crook who sold us that dodgy flat screen. Nope, not me. You're surely mistaken, my friend. Hey, Trouser, did you happen to see a magical flying book go through here? For five quills, I did. Stare in demand now. This book business has kicked off. Perhaps you can find enough of those treasure chests lying around? Oh, I already tried lockpicking those while Yuka was asleep. No chance! Ah, to unlock them you'll need one of my trademark special moves. By using X, or in my case, Square, our green friend can perform a tail swirl attack. It's smashing. Press X to attack. Got it. Excellent. That, that doesn't really work. Now go work those treasure chests and bring me five quills. Smash. Yeah. I'm a quill. I want a 200 and each will 200. To purchase new moves! 200 is too much, man. I think I, I remember myself thinking that the first time I played through this. Like, 200? Why break the, the norm of 100? Oh! I can do that. It, it's funny that whenever I, I play a platformer like this, the first move I want to try is the run move, or something that makes me faster. Because I just have trouble with the movement speed that you start the game with. <laughs> with all of them. Mario, anything. I guess everyone has, because everyone tries to find the quick way of moving. No one likes to travel, but ooh, hello. Mm, I'm a taste butterfly, and Jeep. Be nice and collect me to feel your power bar. Yeah, ah, uh, yes, that seems to be enough jog to jog my memory. Come back here. All right, you sleazy snake. Can I open this? Oh, look at that door physics. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> good door physics. I bet there's something at the top of the pirate ship. Like, this game is so welcoming and inviting, you want to play- You see, this is the biggest problem with the, the camera. It doesn't go behind things. It doesn't do the thing that it should, which is make whatever is in front of the camera transparent. It just hits every object. And that's the worst part. And sometimes it'll hit, like, rails. And that's not how it should be. Like, you should have the space. It should not hit the rails. And even in uh, manual camera mode, it hits stuff. So like, that's the only- that's the biggest problem with the game. It's the camera. And it- before they actually gave you a uh, manual camera mode, I- to me personally, it was unplayable. I was having a hard time with it. Go on then, Lispy! Spill the beans! What is our book? Your bark is headed towards the business beyond this gate. 
strange things going on in there since the takeover by Hillary Towers Corp. Or Hivery, I guess. I'm headed there myself for some moves. Allow me to raise the gate. Come on, Yuka. Let's get that book back before Trouser realizes we didn't give him those quills we found. Alright. Like, the, the camera hitches on everything. On every wall. It, it really bothers me. What? Pressing A again while in the air. Okay, I'm guessing I can't go into that stuff. But yeah, that's... If they fixed that, this game would immediately be so much better, in my opinion. It's very sad that that's the problem, because... I've said it before, and I'll definitely say it again. Um... I don't need to perform a double jump here. Um... This game is good! Like, it controls fine. It just... How do I... How do I go up? I, I forget. Can you use L to swing? Yeah, yeah. And A to rise. Okay. To descend. Alright, cool. I'm guessing this is progress, and that just takes me back. Yeah, you're... What are... What are those things up there? They look even shiftier than trouser. Maybe they're lost? I doubt it. If I if it if I were us, and I'm 50% of us, I'd attack them with X. Like those soft shooters, our health bar won't auto refill. You're right. But if they don't attack us, I can always eat a nearby butterfly by pressing B to regain some health. Alright. Finally, I have my tongue move! Yeah, yeah, we heard it. Alright. Here's a little shortcut. I'm trespassing! This is private property! Yeah, I, now I decided to give everyone voices. Hello! We're searching for our missing book. It looked like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now! As will most of the world supply before long! <laughs> That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a book mobile? Actually... We just... it's just one book in particular we're interested in. Now scram before I call security! There's something not right about this place, Laylee. We should investigate. Yes, we should. I like the little letters. Visually this game, I, I really like this game. Mm. Very polished. All that polish. I never got past the first yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Hey, friends, over here! Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely to see you again, pals. I see you've got up to speed with your basic moves. <laughs> Yuka. Yuka gave himself a short tutorial on the way in. Smashing! Time to put your skills to work! I spotted a piece of your book. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and collect it? And find out if that's go what's going on. I'd go myself, but it's I've got an important call coming up. Oh, here it is with my World One boss. He's after one of my super moves. <laughs> yeah, right. All 
All right, I know where to go. Cut the crap. There we go. Oh, he didn't remove his statue. So yeah, this this game has a hub world. Yay! Um, it's it's very much, you know, Banjo Kazooie. Very much, but sadly, worsened a bit. Uh, for reasons that we'll end up seeing, I don't want to just front load everything. We'll we'll talk about them as they come. Plus, I'll get to meet new worlds and. Get no opinions on them. Is that a new one? Hello there. Who might you be? I'm PG. I live inside the all-powerful one book. The the one book? How much is one of those worth? The one book is incredibly powerful. It's been stolen by e evil Capital B. If Capital B unlocks the power within his crooked company, couldn't say that. We'll have the power to rewrite the universe. Luckily, us Pages have fled one book and gone into hiding. Without Pages, the one book is just an empty shell. I'm just completely ignoring what they actually sound. If you use me to unlock one of the grand tomes in this factory, we can transport to another world and search for the more of my fans. Don't worry. We'll help you, Pagey. Come on, Laylee. Let's find one of those grand tomes and search for more Pages. Alright. Hey, pals, I believe I can assist you in your quest. Why don't you come and see me for more details? Here we go, don't die. I <laughs> just licked him. Say, you two chaps need to explore those grand homes, and I'm looking to expand my business to new locations. How about we make a deal? For every grand home you unlock, I'll help your quest with a new move. Free of charge. That sounds like a good deal, Trouser. We're in. Super. Your first complimentary move is one of my trademark abilities. If you hold down RT to... You'll get the grip you need to roll up slippery ramps. Yes, my dash. There's one note in this small print, pals. The longer you use the move, the more you'll drain your power bar. So roll wisely. Instead of eating butterflies, you can collect them to refill your power bar. All right, here we go. Why don't you try a new trouser patented maneuver on that nearby slippery ramp? All right, thanks, trouser. We're gonna do the, just that. Sorry, I'm, I'm dying slightly inside. I need to lower the volume a little bit. It's kind of loud. Hopefully it's still fine for you guys. Hopefully I didn't make it way too soft. If anyone's watching, just tell me if I made it way too soft. Yeah, this is one of the other... what I think is... oh. Look, Laylee, a pagey. In a cagey. A mazy. Oh, no, dude. Don't. <laughs> Help! Capital B's corporate minion! Lock me up in here! Sure. <laughs> These... These plant pamphlets are sure are pushy. Come on then, tell us where the key is. There's no key. Key design. Unlock with some nearby puzzles. But you've not learned yet the correct move to help me. Okay, Pagey. We'll come back for you later. 
All right, are you done? Are we done with tutorials? Yeah, the biggest one of the biggest gameplay problems I have is that the bar doesn't refill. Hey, you made it to the first Grand Tome. I'm just gonna. The Grand Tomes are magically magical gateways to new worlds. Hyvory Tower seems to have captured many, but only us pages can unlock them for you. Stand on the switch and you'll have collected enough pages, we can unlock it for you. Yeah, yeah! Then we're gonna sign and rescue more of you, right? That's right! Once inside, don't forget to find Trouser. It sounds like those moves he sells will help you out on your adventure. This game is gonna be quite the vocal workout for me. It will cost one pagey to unlock this world. Do you want to unlock Tribal Stack Tropics? Yes, please. So yeah, I never got past this world. This world and the camera hitches were enough to make me stop. Uh, return here later and I'll reveal more about the Grand Tones. Yeah, this game has everything to be perfect. <laughs> it has everything to be perfect. But it, ah, it just makes me so sad. That, like, it makes me mistakes on, like, the most basic things. Look, see, like, the camera keeps... does that so much. Hello? These are, like, the... Ghost Riders, are we? Or, yeah, there are five and a treasure will trade. So this is the same thing as the... What are they named? Capturing one goal, impressive indeed, but to free us all, new tactics you'll need. Um, the Jinjos. That's what they're, they were called. But instead, in this one, uh, you actually have a little bit of a challenge when you're finding them. It's not just going up to them and getting them. It's uh, some of them fight back. Some of them require different things, like this guy. He requires food. Oh, they don't let you do it anymore. Uh, before the bug fix, you could, like, put your, your tongue inside. Well, I guess you can still. <laughs> well, you know. But I'm pretty sure it would extend all the way before. Um, so the big difference with this game, it has a limited amount of worlds, but uh, with certain amount of pages, instead of just being used to unlock new worlds, it expands current worlds. So, um, you can stay in a world for a very long time, which is what I ended up doing. And it wasn't just because, you know, it was difficult or whatever, it was, uh, whatever other reason there could be, but like, oh crap. Um, but it's because you can just keep expanding it, and it's pretty, huh, lack of a better word, expansive. <laughs> I, I can. It's hard though. Also, see, in these segments, you would want the camera to stay at the side and not stay locked in place. But in this game, it is stuck with being a behind the shoulder camera instead of a adjusting camera. Hello. Oh. Look like you found enough clues for my first move. Stop by my office for a fantastic offer. Example. Oh man, I'm, I'm not doing well here. This will expand to a new area, like right here. This will be a boss fight. Spoiler. Uh, I'll need a new move to get up there. Um, there's also a flying move I can learn. A lot of things. I can learn a lot of things. I think I'll go for that move actually right now. Plus, I, I need to get me some uh, butterflies for health. Um, but yeah, this is a piece of pagey. There's a bunch of pages in that. Pieces of pages in that. Uh, it's very much your regular. 3D platformer from the 90s. 
Elephant is my old mate. Please step right into my office. What office? This looks more like a crumbly old temple to me. Ah, oh, yes! Pay no attention. Top designers are on the case. Award winners. Classy stuff. Anyway, I take it you're here for some of the trousers famous advance maneuvers? Game's so British in its spelling. Yes, please, we could really do with some new moves, Trouser. Smashing! Just for you, my good pals. I'll teach you the real boss slammer. Just for just 30 quills of bargain. Hold on. I thought we had a deal. We unlock world and you give us freebies. My free moves apply only in Hyvory Towers, I'm afraid. In the Tome Worlds, it's business as usual. Let me know which are the product. Which product you're after and we'll fill out the required forms. Sonar short, slurp shot, buddy slam. Uh, edible objects, fire projectiles, uh, shoot super sonar shots, and show secrets. I'm a fan of buddy slam, personally. Yeah, I'll take buddy slam. Okay, what move's all about? This next move says so stunning after I particularly give you is free. Not free, seriously. The price is like I'm going to have remortgage my house. Is that a battered old ruin too? Oh! Lately! To perform Buddy Slam, simply jump into the air with A and then press left trigger to send your green friend here slamming towards the floor causing massive damage. Oof! Wouldn't it make more sense to have Laylee do the slamming? Not likely! Just Buddy Slam, you- With Buddy Slam, Yuka will effortlessly smash through obstacles and foes alike. Now, will you be needing accident insurance with that, my good mates? Actually... Nope! We're fine, thanks, Wormy. Alright. Come back soon, you'll definitely leave your smooth fan books. Okay, cool. So, I have Buddy Slam. I don't know how you- this is the sonar blast thing, you use it on these guys. I actually don't know how useful the thing I just got is going to be. Look at this little robo buddy. Forget- oh, oh. I can use Body Slam for this. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Yeah. Uh. Mm, where is it? Ow. Ah. Uh. Stop looking for me. Thank you. Okay, so I just need to find the last one. Where's the last one? Oh, it's right in the middle of the bottom. Okay. I see it. I don't think I have to do it in order, but hey. Okay. I'll just wait for it to go around. Boom! And the thing I've heard about this game, and as far as I play, that's the thing, right? I'm talking about it from just the perspective of the first world. But it does feel outdated a little bit. While games like A Hat in Time got these ideas and evolved them, uh, the, the guys at Platonic try to stay very faithful, very... Uh, um, very true to the original, like, 90s way of making these games, and obviously graphically it looks way better, but, like, there are a few things that are very much, like, the pacing and everything else. It's very much a game from that time. And what are you supposed to be? I'm a pagey piece, got torn up in capital B's and enforcers, thrown in this jungle. 
My other pieces have been scattered. Uh, please find my other three pieces. Okay. Let's go. I thought this was supposed to be a modern game, Yuka. Collectibles used to come in one piece. Um... Here's a piece. Two more. I'm the second pagey piece. Two more to go. Uh, but yeah, it's very... Old-timey. And it works... I hear it close by. It's almost like it's a bug. I need to talk to you, Sir Hamelot. Give me a second. Um... Yeah, I think it is a bug. That's the thing, it controls fine. Um, in most regards, it's it's fine, but that's where it stays. It doesn't try to exceed. It's It tries to remind you of how it was. There's a ghost here. I don't, I don't like it. Don't woo hee 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 me! Oh, I saw. I saw a corner of the screen. Oh, not a fan. Nope. You, you can. I forget what makes it. Yeah, right there. I forget what makes it come out. I think maybe the sonar power up. I'll talk to him a lot now. Om nom nom! Good day to you, young warriors! I bet you've got a weight-related name. Go on then, what is it? Om nom nom! They call, they call one Sir Scoff, Scoffs a lot, and I am Proud Knight Hamelot. I knew it! Carry on then, tell us about your brave quest for treasure. Om nom nom! Indeed. One's fellow knights and I are engaged in daring hunt for the great Rampo's sacred treasure place. Om nom nom. <laughs> for, for security reasons, we split our search into four separate locations. Om nom nom. However, one is currently feeling a little too burdened to locate them. Might thou assist in locating my fellow knights and the treasure? Sure. Don't worry, scoffs a lot. We'll help your you find your knights. Om nom nom. Excellent. My first knight isn't far. Allow one to bestow a clue. My feet are wet, but do not fret. I won't drown by the this corp corplet town. Got it. If we forget, we'll come back and ask you again. Corplet town. I don't know what that means. Oh, I completed this. I can turn it in. You found all my pieces! Finally! Not for long, Goldie. Oh, I didn't. There we go. Hello, gentlemen. Don't mind if I do. And this is an in Is there a pagey flying? Oh, there's a bunch of them. That's one thing that I actually, like, while I was playing this the first time around, I was wondering. Uh, it's, um... Why does it feel so sparse? This game feels very sparse for some reason. Like, like, they're... The enemies don't feel like they're placed in places with a reason. It, it doesn't make sense. This is another part where stuff is going to show up. Like, the placement of enemies just feels like, oh, let, let's just... Ow. Three. Let's just put people here. It doesn't feel like there's a reason to it. Like, you think uh, bob on Battlefield, even. Let's go all the way back. The, the enemies kind of build a path for you where the where the Goombas are. They kind of aren't in the way you're supposed to go. And you 
you're gonna try to jump on them. You're gonna try to like hit them as you go. Th these are kind of just like little clusters of enemies. Hello. Oh goodness, hello! I wasn't expecting visitors. You must be the cruddy duel capital B is making all that fuss about. Ooh, he's already talking about us? Allow me to introduce myself, I'm Dr. Puzz. Ivory Tower's top scientist. Well, I used to be before that dastardly Dr. Quack saw all of my research. Psst, Yuka, what's wrong with her arms? Er, uh, hi, Dr. Puzz. I'm Yuka, and this is Laylee. Looks like you're experiencing some tentacle, uh, technical difficulties? Oh no, everything's okay. Better than okay, even. I've just been tweaking my favorite invention, which has the magnificent power to transform. Only a damaged prototype was left behind after that horrible business with Dr. Quack, but it's now transforming as normal. Well, other than one small incident. I have an inkling that that... that... what that might have been. If you find me this world's molly cool, I can power up the DN Ray and help you on your adventure. Okay, Doc. We'll see er, see what we can do. I better not end up there with barnacles, Yuka. And I guess also one of the big complaints I heard, and I didn't feel it as much because I was still kind of used to it. You know, like, is that what it was? It was too chatty and too noisy with the whole. Uh, I think I have it reduced. I'm gonna check, actually. I'm curious. Uh, sound. Uh, short speech, yeah, I have that on. So, like, they don't go for a really long time. They just do it for a little bit. Um, but a lot of people had a lot of trouble with that because uh, I'm not used to it and um, find it very annoying, which I get. See, it's just like these little clusters of enemies. I'm personally not a fan of it. Um, they just feel like they're around with, without any real rhyme or reason. They're just there to fill space, but like it still feels sparse. Oh, you look like a racy pair. Hello, this is Laylee and I'm Yuko. Okay, who might you be? I'm nimble. Uh, and I like to look through you too, must say, about most racy, you know, in a race around my courts. <laughs> We're game for anything that involves a pagey. What do you think, Yuka? Yeah, let's do it. Sure thing, Nimble, let's race. Cloud-based racing? Now, how next gen? Oh. I got it, yo. I know what I'm doing. Here we go. Strap yourselves in. One lap. First through all gates wins. Go. I got this. That's this in the bag. That's in the bag. Can't miss one butterfly though. Oh, I missed a butterfly. <laughs> As I say that. Don't. Yeah. Don't miss it, don't miss it. Yeah! Messed up, messed up. Oh no. I think I'm fine. Oh wow, he's right on my tail. I think I'm gonna pay for that. No, this is it, this is it. I got it. Impressive, I can't believe you finished ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, hand over the pagey candy floss features. 
Oh, yes, of course. To the victor goes the spoils. You, you pair earned it. Ew, ew, where did that come from? It looks like you've found enough pages to expand a world. Ah. Meet me at the Grand Tome entrance when you're ready, and I'll explain some more. Gosh! Seems like we have gotten myself in the pot or something. Oi! No need for now, I'm calling! Hello. She's looking a bit malnourished. Cripes! Thank goodness you're here! I've been kidnapped by these things, and they're going to cook me. If they're hungry, I'll only cacked a bit more flesh out than you love. I have no idea how to do those accents. Gosh! It seems like it's just can't world class explore these days without being cooked and eaten. <laughs> Voice just gave over, gave out there. I'll reward you with a pagey, but be quick. My captors will be back any minute with their condiments. Yeah, sure. Kind of weird how you accept. Don't worry, miss. I'll get you out of there. We gotta get away from our pot, strange dinosaur. It's weird how you need to accept these missions. Okay, and this is just. It feels. Like, they're really dumbing it down. It's literally just this. This was a... Oh, a lizard back go good with skeleton soup. Add much body. This is the the point where I was like, this, this feels a little bit like they weren't putting really too much effort. <laughs> like, obviously... Who am I to say that, right? Like, they made a full game and it looks gorgeous, but when it comes to the challenges, it, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Oh, thank you, kind lizard. You have my eternal gratitude. Those brutes took a real beating, but I have a feeling they'll be back. Can you feel it in your bones? Wink, wink. Please take your reward. You earned it. Like, that, that wasn't a challenge. That's pretty easy. Here's a, where the world's gonna expand a little bit more. There's one I think I'm able to get. I think this is the one that runs at around. Got it. <laughs> and not too much on the running part. Um, I can get another power up. I think I'll do that. Hello, oh. All right, move along, Naf... Nothing... My... What? Nothing to see here, okay. Hello there, Sir Scofflot sent us to find you. Something about finding treasure. Lootsalot, swag is none of your business, and... Hands off! I see, I see. I'll give you a clue to where me partner is. But that's it. <laughs> Throwing so many accents at me. Not more riddles. Can't you just show us where it is? Course not. That'd be far too easy. Here's the clue. His bow. His bow. He. His bow. He takes to war around the island with a high score. His bow. He takes to a bow. Maybe bow. Also, I need to talk to that character. There's quite a bit I can still do without upgrading the place. Especially since I'm, I'm getting... Hey, we're after! Sonar shot. Yeah. Uh, we're ready to learn, Trouser. Uh, smashing. The next move, defeat the World 3 boss. A tr tricky encounter. That one. Yeah, you're right. Can't even dress yourself properly. Sonar shot simple. Use Y. Puff, pow, fire, devastating blast sonar energy. <laughs> Sounds cool. Anything else, Wormhead? Well, you can fight enemies, stun them, or activate sonar totems to uncover invisible objects. But watch it, chaps. 
Every shot drains your power bar. Yeah. Now, will you be needing my 18 month insurance plan? You never know, you might have forgotten this move by next week. Um, we're alright, thanks. Yeah. Here yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. We got it. Here we go. Nope, I missed it. Well, happy face. It locks the camera here, because it can't do the yeah. other angle. <laughs> Like, these baddies have no challenge to them. That's, I guess, one thing that bothers me. I don't... I just don't get it. I guess, like, I, after finishing... After I just finished, uh... Having played... Can't make that. Ooh, a hat in time. It a hat in time had those birds where you could literally just do exactly that. Just this bird was around. Boom, boom. But it felt more sad. Sound wise, the sound made it way more satisfying. That's one thing. Um, but also it um, I don't. That's the thing, I don't know what it, it felt satisfying to hit the birds, which I would say are pretty equivalent to the. They're, they're pretty useless <laughs> as far as enemies go. Um, but those felt alright to take care of. Um, and you can even say like Goombas, right? They All they need, let's go back to 64, all you need is to punch them. And that's it. But that feels like a challenge. Here, it feels easy. It doesn't feel like they could ever reach you before you hit them. They just feel throwaway. And I don't know why. Uh, my guess with a hat in time specifically is that they have a very nice feedback. Um, very, like... Auditory, very good auditory fi uh, feedback that makes you feel really good when you do it. Um, with Mario's and Goombas, though, I feel that specifically with 64, that was the first time you were doing that. And I guess after that, you never had Goombas where you had to try punching. It was always different with, um, well, with uh, Sunshine, you didn't even have Goombas, but. With Galaxy and Odyssey, you were using different moves for that. And it felt challenging. It felt like if you messed up, you could get hit. Hello, you. Hello there, strange polygonal dinosaur. Are you sure you're in the right game or decade? Hello, my name is Rextro. I'm here to showcase my amazing arcade games. Rextro, Rextro lonely now, though. Friends all vanish, all to play on a line. Retro plays single player games until friends come back. How long have you been waiting for your friends, Rextro? Since 1997, but sure they will be here soon. No wonder your your blocky game characters went extinct. Well, Rextro crowdfunded return. Got cool old school games to play. Rextro has to borrow some assets from other games, but don't tell. Friends will need to play need play coin to get make arcade work. Rexro ha sure he saw one near here. We don't have a play coin yet, Rexro, but um we dropped one nearby. We'll just go fetch it ours. Radical! Come back when you found play coin. Yeah, people are way too chatty in this game. They keep saying the same thing over and over and over. Um, which was a thing that used to happen. Oh, hello, you. Oh, you look tired. Hello there, are you one of the Knights of Hamelot? Me? No, absolutely not. I'm just a bird watcher. What are you, snake? Boring old bird watcher. Well, one of the characters on this island is a knight. And 
It's not the dinosaur. Wait, what? Alright, you've rumbled me. I'm Sir shoots a lot Knight of Hamelot. It's the full set of armor that gave it away. Give us your clue, then. Oh yes, the treasure. Near the World Ramp Pro, explore the tomb underneath. You mean below? Rhyme... That would rhyme like others. Bah! I knew I'd forgotten something important. Ask me again if you've forgotten and I'll try harder. Okay. So, I'm guessing near the ramp boss. Okay, so not up there. I thought, I thought the play coin was up here. Clearly, it is not. Though I will still take these. Alright. I thought the play coin was around here. Oh, here's a, a tunnel. I think that play coin's in here. Yep, there it is. Can I not get it? There we go. Play coin get! Return me to Rextro for some fun! Alright, let's go check out that Rextro game. Hello, Rex. We've got- we got a play coin, Rextro. Oh, good! Please approach the arcade and press save. Better give a special prize. Yeah, I'll beat it. If I want to play a fun arcade game, yes. Just throw me in the Cardo's crate carding. I know how to play this. Five laps, drive and shoot. Like micro machines. Should be fine. Actually, it's not like micro machines at all. Other than the visual, I guess. But it controls different. Micro machines up is always front. It's a bit different. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Should get the speed boost. My throat is getting really dry from all the all the reading. I need to take a break after this for a drink. Oh no. Yeah, you can't even get through if you are. To control. There we go. I think that's it right now. It's five laps, not not three laps. That's the thing, though. It's very static, and after you do it once, it's not much of a challenge there. The thing that made this game fun, like in Mario Party, was the fact that you were playing against other people and then the challenge lied there. And even in Micro Machines, the challenge lies in the fact that there are other racers that are pretty competitive. You're just doing it alone for a time limit that is not even um, that hard to get. There's not much in the way of this minigame. Um... Do I get a thing? You're quite easy, your dinosaur games. Please wait till Rex your save record and memory card. Memory what? Feel free to try the game again. Try this time if friends beat high score, Rex will give another prize. Yeah, I'll play again. What's the what's the record? I'll try to beat the record once, otherwise I'll uh um, rank 1, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. 
All right. I'll try beating. Two minutes. I'm hoping that the secret prize is uh, Pagey. You're tricking me, Rextro, <laughs> into playing this game. It's one of the funny things about this uh, minigame is that it used to be broken. <laughs> um, I don't think it's worth it going. Ugh. I don't think it's worth it getting that power up. Oh, I pressed the wrong, pressed the wrong button. It used to be broken. It used to be pretty bad. This is the fixed game. Oh. It controls alright. It's very mediocre. <laughs> as far as games like this go. I'm gonna beat this record without much difficulty. And I... See, like, I, the record is pretty easy to beat. Yep. What do you have for me? Wow! Can't believe you beat that high score! Now friends receive the ultimate prize. Three-letter entry on arcade leaderboard. Um... Please, friends, write humorous leaderboard name on golden piece of paper. Sure, Rexro will uh, bring this right back. Seriously? Did he? S how did he survive the HD era? It's funny how they may. Oh no, I said yes. I meant no. I meant no. It's funny how like they make fun of the of you know it being outdated. <laughs> No, I don't. Get me out of here. I know, right? Fourth wall. Did I do everything? I think I completed it. Oh no, I'm running out of butterflies. <laughs> I don't know how early you've you've been here, Tasha, but <laughs> I've been I've been harping on this game pretty hard. It's uh I didn't really enjoy it the first time I played it and it's Still not impressing me. It looks very nice, and it plays like a 90s platformer game, but that's the problem. <laughs> oh, oh, I need, I need juice. I need juice. I'm out of juice. Oh, I did, I did the wrong thing. Oh, there's another butterfly. All right. Is that a tunnel beneath it? I guess in here? This might be... Oh, there's one here. Oh yeah, I remember this. Uh, I do not have the power to do that yet. Um, where is the last pig? He said under the rampo, which is over here, so, um, oh, there's a tunnel under here, so I'm guessing the rampo is, the last pig is down here somewhere.
don't see a pig. I might be wrong. Where? It said beneath the rampo. Oh, I see. I need to cross. Here. I never entered this place. This is the first time. Where's the pig? Hello. It's mine! It's all mine! It's steak and lobster for Lady Lepalot Leap -a -lot tonight. Hello there. We've been guided here by your fellow Knights of Hamelot. We're here to collect our treasure, so hand it over. Treasure? What? This? It's, um, fake. It's all of it. Totally wooden. Sir Scoffsalot was pretty certain we could find a pagey here. Oh, that old thing? The paper with the silly grin? Fill your boots, peasants. It means nothing to me. So, um, about this fake treasure, keep it to yourselves. Especially, don't mention it to that armored brute with a shovel. Uh-oh. Armored brute with a shovel? There's only one armored brute with a shovel anyone has ever heard of. Alright. Cool. So I think that's it. Um, four. I can I can wake this guy up. Do a thing. Oh, not fast enough. Um. Uh, oh. Need to. Yeah. Where's the next one? Yeah! There we go. Um, yeah, I think that is it. No. Uh... We're gonna talk to Hamelot and uh, drink some water. Oh, he's gone. I finished the mission. There's nothing left. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. I'll um get out of this world. The only thing that's left for me to do. Get out of this world. Um, get back to the hub world. Okay. And take a swig of water. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, th now we get to see the big difference this has from any other platformer. You're back! And alive, it seems that Snake Chap lost his bet. Yeah, we... Hold on, what bet? Those Grand Tomes can be dangerous places. But it's good you're back. I have something important to share. The Grand Tomes like this one here can be expanded using the power of pages you have found. Choosing the ex to expand will make the book book worlds bigger and full of extra challenges to discover. That sounds cool. How does it work? Once you've found enough of us, pages, it's up to you if you want to use them to expand a grand tome you've already opened, or search Ivory Towers for a brand new one to unlock with us. Hmm. Expand or explore. Yes, the choice is yours, and you can do this in any order. 
So as long as you have collected enough pages on your adventure... How exactly do we use our pages? Oh, you know what? <laughs> I, I know how to do this. You need three. Oh, I need three to expand tropics. I'll uh I'll pump in quite a few of these then. I wonder if I can upgrade it again. I might have enough. I think I need to get out of the button and No, it doesn't let me, okay. Let's go in. The animation's so smooth. I really like the animation in this game. You expanded the world. Come and find me and my friends. Alright. Which one did we expand? Okay, we expanded that one. Don't show me everything. Don't spoil the game. Oh, it expanded a lot. It expanded that whole back area, too. Look at that. Huh. Alright. Thought that second second area was a separate deal. Everyone through here. I think they just lead to each other. I don't think there's like a... They don't lead anywhere else. Yeah, it's like they just take you around. Um, alright, let's go to the new area. And look who's here! Blimey! Check out this guy, Yuka! Greetings, adventurers! I am the one they call Shovel Knight, and I'm having an eventful day! I seem to have embarked on such a grand adventure that I've ended up in a wrong game! I hate when that happens. There appears to be some alluring treasure hidden at the top of this temple. However, I am having trouble reaching it. I haven't gotten used to this bizarre third dimension yet. Retrieve the giant jewel for me and I'll reveal to thou the secret to succeeding in any adventure. All right, you nut your knightliness. We'll find your jewel and make sure the payment is definitely page-based. Excellent! Steal thy shovel, friends! I'll be waiting here for your safe return! I think I need to get another upgrade for ukulele before I go through here. Um, shouldn't be hard. I think I have enough. Oh, I never talked to that character yet. Forget her name. Um, to the fridge. There we go. Hey kids, what can I get you? Um, one, please. One tonic. You've got to present your company-approved ID card first, kid. Ivory Towers employees only. Ah uh, 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 uh. oh, yes, about that. My bat friend here ate mine. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll let you off just this once. We're all friendly colleagues after all. Uh, 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 uh. Friendly colleagues? <laughs> That's not what he said. <laughs> the name's Vendi. I assume you're familiar with the game modifying tonics? Remember, each tonic you equip makes a big change to your rules of work you need to complete a challenge to unlock each one and no messing around only one tonic equipped at a time come see me when you want to swap them out so i can pick two roll move uses less power or gain plus one butterfly health slot i'm gonna use the the baller that tonic should help you d your day job all right cool 
Yeah, that's way better. Uh, hey you, give me a power up. Do I have enough? Mm, oh, I have ex the exact amount. Oh yes, prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves. Uh, great move, really special, uh, great move. Uh, so this is pretty much, you get bushes with fire and ice. Like our good old friend George Railroad Martin told us. And uh, you shoot out that stuff out of your mouth. Out of your lizard mouth. Um, let's try it. This challenge that we saw earlier. is all about that. Boom. I'm powerful and then I go BAM. Wait, how do- and then I go BAM. What was the button? BAM! 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 So I go into first person shooter mode. More like third person. Good day, strapping adventurers! Splendid day for a hunt, what not? Whoa, aren't you supposed to talk simple? Run straight at us? That's rude, Yuka. Like those Neanderthals and Hyvory Towers? Absolutely not. I have... you know what? I'm the most aristocratic character in the game. <laughs> not likely. There's this guy with this huge ice palace in the next world. He must be loaded. Why? You assist a gentleman with a modest lightning quandary? This antique temple features a divine shooting gallery, but some louts block my windows up top. Might you fine fellows climb to my rooftop and unblock the windows? That seemed like a task suitable for your... Stature. We'll take a look. Alright, we need to do that. Forgot that that was part of the mission. Just gotta butt stomp some stuff. So to do his mission, you gotta have two of the power ups. You gotta have the butt, butt stomp. And. Boom. Hello up there! Spiffing job letting in some light so I can set up my target challenge. If you could address the other three blocked windows, it could be splendid. Boom. Boom. And boom. Capital work! Come inside and we'll arrange a sporting contest with a real prize, what ho! Righty ho indeed. Now we get some third-person shooter action. Oh wait, I forgot to... Thanks for the clearing of the windows up top and whatnot. Whatever. We've just done dirty work. Now hand over the pages. What? Give you my posh paper? Leaving me with just a local fauna? Should nature call? Not likely. Although, I do like a sporting contest. I propose you take on my target challenge. I'll provide the targets based on my Neanderthal brethren. You shoot the blazes out of them, and I'll surrender a pagey what what. What do you say, fancy a shot at my target range, chaps? Yes, I do. Sounds like fun, let's shoot. Jolly good. Stand on the spare target I lay down and I don't and don't forget your ammo. Down the common beast and I'll award you the pagey. Bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep him coming. Keep him coming. 
Bam. Bam. Fastest trigger. This side of the west. Oh, I, I see your tricks. Oh no, I ran out. Oh. Oh no, I'm, I'm losing. Oh my word. Stop shooting for a couple of run-of-the-mill peasants! I feel like I've prepared you to take on the rest of that corporate minion in the game. Go collect your reward. I don't know. I... <laughs> I don't know if it comes through in my voice, but I'm like deeply conflicted about this game. I want to love it so much, but it just doesn't give me anything. Like, uh, it has its funny little moments, but that's it. it the gameplay, it, it's kind of boring. Oh, I messed up. Messed up pretty bad. Like, I don't feel like I've been challenged yet. I want to be challenged. Hat and Time felt fun to jump around, felt fun. This seems simple. These feel like simple... Ow. Like, simple challenges, simple platforming challenges. Boom. Oh, you guys are doing great. We'll have a book return filled none time. <laughs> great reading. Thank you. Whoa! Also, there are no lives, so there, there's no repercussion. You just die and you go back to pardon the stage. Alright, let's try the boss. The boss that, uh... This boss was notoriously bad. Not just for me, I, I, I thought it was pretty bad, but like... They had to fix it. It was broken bad. It wasn't like, oh, it's bad. It was broken bad. And they they had to do some heavy, heavy fixing of it. There he is. Oh, puny lizard! The great Rambo is not interested in th door, thine door-to-door -door sales. Turn back or face thy doom. I'll face my doom. Hmm. I'm, I really want the flying ability, or at least the hover ability. Hover ability is one of the best. Flying in the first Banjo Kazooie was one of. Oh, you, you just don't turn off, do you? I'll just do this. Flying in the first Banner Kazooie was one of the best parts of gaming in my childhood. <laughs> when you first got to fly in that game, it felt awesome. I wonder if I can... I think there's a way for me to jump higher. Alright, let's see how they fixed this, because when I played it, originally, I played it right when it came out. It was not good. Urgh. Great Rampo has no need for thine double glazed windows, sales mortals. We're not selling windows, we're hunting pages. I'm Yugen, this is late. Silence! The Great Rampo knows hustle when he reads it. You two have been bothering every character on this island with your so called deals. Prepare to be punished by my ancient slanty powers, annoying glass peddlers. Alright, here we go. 
Let's see if, if they fixed it. <laughs> Clearly they fixed it. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> the angle of the camera was atrocious before. Now it... Ah. No. <sighs> Alright. I got this. I got this. At least the angle of the camera won't be my downfall. What are you... Uh, I just need to break his teeth. Oh, the great Rambo's winning smile is ruined! Before the camera would angle itself down. Like, towards the ground. Let's see how they deal with their mortal pests. How Vi deal with, deals with it. My bad, I don't read ye old English very well. Uh, yeah. Oh, stop! The Great Rample's dental payment are well overdue! The Great Rample's slope is for invited guests only. Stay away! And, uh, if I remember correctly, they took way longer to get up. <sighs> yeah, the, if I remember correctly, this last one is pretty tough. I don't know if you can slow it down. Yeah, you can. Please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. There we go. No! Great Rambo's secret slope has been desecrated. Curse thou, sales mortals. Great Rambo should have pretended not to be home. This window game is quite exciting. Fancy a change of profession, you guys? There we go. You got an eight. Boom. Grabbing these. Boom. How high will this lead me? All the way? No. I think this is just a straight out drop. Can't you can't jump when you're sliding down things like that. Uh, saying that mostly as a note to myself. Oh no! Aim. <sighs> I'm a lot back. I think you can get like pages you've already gotten. Gotcha. Or not? What's Hamelot doing? Hey, Hamelot. Heard it up for finding the treasure, warriors. I do hope leap -a -lot hasn't scoffed all this steak and lobster. Oh, that's it. Interesting that uh, Hamelot wasn't here. Earlier. Um... I'm gonna figure out, so I clearly need to throw something in the mouth of this one. I just don't remember what it is. Um... Hello, burpee. Um... What can I throw in your mouth? It's a... Oh, those classic moments in gaming where you say stuff that 
you never thought you'd be saying. Um, why is there something for me to throw at him? Nothing up there. I'm gonna grab those whales. Oh, here it is. I guess good quill placement. Um, okay. Hopefully I can make it. There we go. Nice. Only one left, and I think it's... I just don't have it yet because it's in one of the areas that I have not been to. Alright, we can do, um... Shovel Knight's thing now. Um, I'll grab a butterfly. Um, though this level really reminds me of um, the first level in Sunshine, visually, and some some of the platforming too, um, because of the the way it looks and climbing that. The Rampo part of this game reminds me of climbing the windmill in that one. Um, bam. Oh yeah, that's how that works. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. No! No! Oh, okay, it's not a death. <laughs> oh wait, it might as well be. No, no, we're fine. There's no real challenge here either. This is a platforming game, but I guess all the challenge was in the pre-platforming. Um... Oh, hey. Not very good with this one. Oh... Bam. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is just requiring a lot of my <laughs> focus and dedication here. It's not really fun, it's kind of frustrating. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Nope. Nope. Trying to. There we go. I was trying to figure out the right time to do that. What am I doing health wise? Oh, I need health. Um, uh, alright. We'll climb this. Come on, no, please. I did it right. I did it right, game. Okay. Oh yeah, these enemies. These enemies are fun. I, li I like these. They're eyes. 
That's all they are. And they're pretty challenging. Um, I don't think... I'm not very sure. They can inhabit any sort of enemies. I thought that was fun. Any sort of object, I mean, not enemies. And that's our prize. We just need to yo-ho-ho it back to... Shovel Knight. <laughs> do I have to do that again? Uh-oh. Wow, it really took me back. Did it really take me, like, back back? No, no, it saved it. Okay. Do I still have the diamond? <laughs> I have to talk to Shovel Knight about that. I might have lost a little bit of the progress. I'm hoping that's not the case. <laughs> We've recovered your jewel. Yeah, impressive. You can't exchange piles of gold. Now, as promised, here's a secret to adventuring success. A pagey. All you need is a map and the thirst for adventure. <laughs> this guy's humor is as flat as his pixelated treasure. Jeez, I like Shovel Knight. Don't you dare say that about him. Shovel Knight is a saint. Can I do anything else for you, B Bone Lady? The tropics have been expanded, which means new treasures are in sight. Okay. Thank you for that info. We'll keep that in mind. We got that treasure. Oh, I don't have hover yet, so I can't do that. I need hover to get the the new thingy. You know, you know the thingy. Uh, did, did I go in here? I don't think I've been in here. I don't actually remember coming in here even on my first playthrough. Inside the monument. Do I have to be a plant? Let me turn the camera. Yeah, okay. I get it, I get it. I'll try coming back as a plant. Might be getting close to the end of this stream. Uh, I'm gonna try getting one more pagey. Hopefully I can do that. Hopefully it's unlocked that far. Did it open anything on this side? Yeah. Yes it did. because I already know what puzzle I have to solve. Mm, Mr. Blowy gasping for a drink. Throat all dry from hard days puffing. Yep. And then you wrap the water one. You go over here. You turn this thing. Boom, that's enough. Boom. Boom. Aim. Shoot. Grr, water Mr. Blowy can finally continue his job blowing air in a linear direction. Not much of a job, is it? Beats cleaning the streets. Oh, dude. Too rude. Too rude. Alright. Down with you guys. Hey. 
does this go? This is where it starts to get confusing, because it takes you to different parts of the, uh... So this is the inside the monument thing. Where I need to be a robot, I think. It gets confusing because there's so many doors. Um, water break. And, um... You just kind of lose track of where you are exactly. But I think I have I don't remember actually seeing any other part of this level, so this might be as far as I got in this level. Unlocking this area. So uh I definitely thought I unlocked it completely, but I don't think so now after um, seeing this. Um, well, there was a Cardo's. Oh, he's gone. Oh, there's the last guy. There we go. I don't get this guy. Come on. I think... Yeah, he's got a miss. Ow. He's gonna get me. There we go. Got another one. Um, this guy. Mm, hello, I'm Nimbo, world's biggest cloud. Hi, Nimbo. I assume you're the guy to talk about the weather-related business. Hmm, smart lizard. Nimbo transform world. Leak water stream below. Hmm, but Nimbo has a problem. Not leaking. Well, right now. Nimbo's been a bag of nerves since wife left him for that typhoon. Try and relax, Nimbo. Think of a trickling waterfall or a running tap. Hmm, not good. Lizard and Bat cause strange fright. Perhaps visitors can help provide some stimulation. Come on then, Laylee, let's help Nimbo release his water. Mm, as long as we you wash your hands afterwards. What are we doing? <laughs> what is this game making us do? How do we stimulate him? Do we throw water? Do we throw fire? Or do we throw ice at him? I'm gonna go with water. It sounds like... I think all of them could help. No, fire would just make it evaporate more. But water could cool it down to make it rain. And ice could also cool it down to possibly make it rain. But I'll try the water. I don't remember. Oh, did it work? Mmm, Nimbo's been holding that for ages! Mm. There we go. That cloud finally peed. Yeah, he's happy. Am I gonna die from this? Nope, I'm good. I thought there was something down here. I think I need to be heavy or something. Yeah. Mm. I don't remember how to do this part. Oh. 
I couldn't do the race now, I think. I don't even know why I filled it up with water. <laughs> I forget the purpose of this. I just did it because, you know, it's a video game. You just do things. Sometimes. Um... That was just a nice little river all the way around. I completely forget the purpose of that. Why did I make it into a river? We, can, we definitely cannot race. Oh my, shameful, the track is too wet. If you see my uncle, could you dry him out for me? Oh, so we can dry him. <laughs> you know. As one does. I think that's it. I think that's it for me. We got we got another one. This is a good look at ukulele. I'm probably gonna come back. I want to check out the other word worlds at least. Probably gonna keep expanding this one though um, for a little bit longer. I want to see if it gets better because, like I said, I didn't get too much farther than this, and I I wasn't impressed. Even though this is one of my favorite game genres. Um, just not very impressed. It was, it's alright. <laughs> it's alright. It's an alright game. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, I actually don't even know how long I went. I actually went one hour longer than I thought I would. That's alright. I think I played roughly the same amount that I did on my first, uh, our first playthrough. Uh, save and quit. Let's figure that out right now. How much did I almost match my original playthrough here? I might have. Uh, main adventure. So, file 119 and 172 hours and 32 minutes. And I have almost the same amount of stuff. And a lot less time. I guess because I kind of know what I'm doing for this first part. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will definitely be back with this. And uh, hopefully it gets better, because I want it to be better. I want it to get better. Um, but yeah, I will see you soon.